Hey guys, I can't believe it's the holiday season once again. As I'm sure you can tell, I am dressed to impress. Honestly, it doesn't even feel like a year has passed since that crazy journey to the North Pole. Meeting Santa, drawing art, flying all the way home. Yeah, those repairs were expensive. Anyway, anyway, new year, new me. This time we're gonna keep things simple. I don't wanna travel to the North Pole again or to destroy my building or anything. Hey, no, you, go away, go away. It's tempting. <laughs> this time, it's just me. Your good old friendly neighborhood Lappy Lou. Mm, but I'll be honest, I don't know what to draw. I mean, you probably know by now, you've seen the video title, but I don't have a clue. <sighs> I think maybe I do need help. Oh my god. Hello? Oh my god. You'll never guess who it is. <laughs> never. It's Santa! I guess he knew we needed his help after all. Oh, oh, I could always see you, you know. Ah, good to know. Hey, by the way, why didn't you help me in October? Jeez, dude, you are huge. <laughs> okay, big guy, fresh canvas. What shall we draw today? Hmm, something big. Okay, I... Something bold, something new, hmm. but something old. How about a new custom holiday-themed classic Sonic title screen? Oh, oh, that's perfect. Yeah, let's do it! So, because last year I created a festive Sonic Zone, this year I'm going to create a title screen for such oh, a game. Oh, I think you mean we will. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. We will. Starting off here, we're just sprucing up the Sonic 1 title emblem. And I, I'm getting deja vu. <laughs> I've done this before. But, you know, I wanted to do this fresh because, you know, Santa's watching me. Oh, oh, you're doing a fantastic job. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm just smoothing out these letters here because they appear pretty rough. Now when I was younger, I didn't know that these letters were kind of like a chrome effect with the mountains and the sky and the reflection. I thought it was just some kind of weird paint job. Now I will be customizing this just a little bit more soon, but you know what? I want to slow things down. That's right. With these videos, I've kind of been rushing through the process. So this time I'm going to take you kind of step by step of how I'm drawing Sonic himself. So here I'm using a kind of technique called start trash and just make it good. And really it's just a kind of chill, iterative process where I just slap things down and if it's not looking how I imagined it, I'll just edit it, chip away at it until it looks right. Now this one worked out pretty quick, but sometimes I'll draw Sonic and it just won't look anything like I want and I'll have to keep iterating on it for quite a while. Getting the kind of size and shape of the spikes right is also another challenge when drawing Sonic. I've kind of just got an eye for it now, but that was definitely one of the bigger challenges when I was just starting out. But even here you can see I've had to adjust them quite a bit. Before I move on to any shading, I make sure that the shapes are at least mostly right. And then once I'm happy with it, I start blocking in the most basic of shadows. And here it's kind of just more of the same. I start basic and then I just keep adding and changing and adding and until it looks right. Now I'm going for a specific style here, which is kind of like the title screen art you'll see in Sonic 1, 2 or Mania, but a little bit of my own flair and I'm adding some kind of loose outlines to things. All right, we're gonna get speedy again. Are you ready, Santa? Oh, oh, of course. Do you realize how fast I have to go every year? That's a good point. So 
So when I began this, I kind of already had a palette kind of lined up. I just came up with it. It's not really based on anything, but it's about six or seven shades for each color. And I'm just kind of limiting myself to those. The shading and style here is essentially just a mixture of your typical shading, some outlining, and some like handmade anti-aliasing. Gotta make sure that ear positioning is absolutely perfect. Once I had to write a book in school and we had to describe our characters and I put Sonic in the book and I described him as having cat ears and I still stand by that. I'm taking quite a lot of care to avoid, you know, jagged lines, too many colours bunching up in one space. If there's too many of the shades in one spot, I will actually reduce the amount of colours in that spot to kind of keep the stepping of the colours the same throughout. To really make it pop, here I'm electing to go straight from like white all the way to black. And I'm pretty much doing that for every shade on here. The full spectrum of shades. But of course you don't have to go all the way to black or even use like a white highlight. That's kind of just a choice I've made. You know, this is, this is shiny Sonic. This isn't Sonic 1 Sonic. The shading around Sonic's eyes is definitely the most delicate and he has to put the most attention in. Because if you do it just a little bit wrong, it looks really wrong. It can look like his eyes are blending into his face, or it can look like he's wearing makeup, which, you know, might suit him, but that's <laughs> not what I'm going for. Honestly, the eyes in general are just the toughest part. They have to look the right way, they have to have enough life in them, they have to show emotion so much. Sonic needs to work out. He's got noodles for arms. Actually, he did work out. When he becomes super, he's beefy. Oh, he's holding a gift. Yeah, he is. Hey Santa, since you're the gift giver, what's in that gift canonically? Hmm, it's a yellow chaos emerald. Oh, dang. Nice. I wonder who gets that. Oh, what's this? Oh god, ignore him. He's a freaking. He doesn't belong oh, here. Oh, he's purring. Well, what about this little guy? Oh, they are both adorable. Yeah. Can I hold them? Thank you. Oh, hello. Oh my god. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Let's continue. <laughs> right, I don't know what's going on there, but uh, anyway. Getting this ribbon right, another challenge. I had to edit it quite a few times. I do like how it looks though. Try to get this to look like kind of a silky material with gentle gradients and the orange highlights. And Sonic's hand was a little bit too small. Honestly, Sonic has had a few different hand sizes over the years, but I tend to want to draw him with the bigger hands.
I'm honestly not too sure about the physics of a, of a hat sitting on Sonic's head. Uh, I just kind of made it up. It probably still doesn't make any sense. Now, while I dress Sonic up, I want to ask you something, Santa. Oh, yes? What should this festive Sonic game be called? Hmm. Oh, oh, Sonic Spindrift. Ah, uh, no, 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 that, that kind of already exists. Kind of. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, how about Snowdrift? Snowdrift? Alright. Let's get that drawn. Now here I put in the background that I made last year, so watch that video to see me create that background. So for the subtitle of this game, I'm just going to do kind of like a, I guess it's like an ice material or just like, like a blue chromey material. I'm using bright colours so it stands out. Not gonna lie, it was tough to figure out the shadows for these, especially with the established colouring. Adjusting the snow, a bit of lighting, and we are oh, done, dude. It looks marvellous. Wait. Yeah? Hand me the mouse. Oh, uh, okay. What are you doing? <laughs> Hold on. There. Oh, I see. That's way better. No, that's good. That is good. <laughs> they don't call me Chris Kringle for nothing. All right, guys. All in all, that took me, well, I mean us, two hours and nine minutes. Hmm. Well, I think this looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I love this. I might hang this up over my fireplace. Oh, really? That's kind of weird. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I didn't know you were such a Sonic fan. <laughs> Why do you think I'm here? Thank you both for your hospitality. I'd better get back. Both of us. Oh, oh, this one is adorable. <laughs> sure. Before I go, I have to give you a gift. Just like last year. Thank you very much. So, uh, did you have a car or something? How did you get here? Oh, 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 no, my boy. Watch this. <laughs> <sighs> well, at least it's snowing in here now. That's festive. <laughs>